It's Alastair Gelpin here, mobile world record breaker. I'm going to show you what's in my backpack so that if you want to do something similar, you have somewhere to start. First of all, we've got the backpack, which is just under 50 litres and it's almost watertight. I have a medical kit here, which contains some interesting things, including this venom remover, which sucks venom out of your system. I've got a range of condoms to be used as bandages, say on the upper thigh where it's typically difficult to put bandages. I have some salt here from a fast food restaurant which would be for cramp and a whole lot more. Then this is my general maintenance bag. So these are uh, items for fixing polyurethane and various other things. I have uh, a, a a Leatherman which is a, a very good multi-tool and a whole range of other things plus a bit of paperwork. Then I have the bulk of the paperwork which goes with my trade and I have some electronics uh, spares. So when I'm not using wired internet I have an ethernet cable to try and make it a bit more secure if I can and some accessories for the cameras and so on. This contains the general items. I've got a, 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 a never-ending glow stick here which is very useful and virtually indestructible, a, a monocular because I'm into bird watching, uh, earplugs and this is my entire sewing kit, the strongest stitching which is a, a wire leader trace for fishing and uh, that's for things like boots and other, other serious jobs. My toiletries kit including a, a, a spork and we've also got here uh, uh, liquid soap because it can be used for many more things than a bar of soap could. I have a jacket and a scarf. Inside this money belt, well, there are obviously important uh, things. And with digital technology these days, you can fit a lot of data into a very small space like that. Shirts, uh, long, thick trousers made of cotton. A, a beanie from a big American company, socks, uh, gloves. This is a sleeping bag inner which was purpose made and it works very well keeping out insects and things at night time as well. Now that's a bag for my laptop to prevent it from getting damaged. I have my super tough sandals. This is a compression sack which contains my hammock and it contains my black thermals for heat absorption. Pants, another short sleeved thermal top I have a number of these waterproof bags which are excellent for dividing the items and keeping them uh, in, in see-through bags for things like border checks. There is a raincoat from Europe, a uh, quick drying towel. This is a water purifier, very good. A hat. I have my ground sheet which weighs probably 10 grams and it's made of, uh, of something that they wrap buildings in when they're under construction. Now here is my first aid kit of which I'm very proud and it contains many useful items one of which is a pencil and uh, some paper uh, it, it's also got uh, floss and, and a heavy duty needle uh, there's an entire fishing kit in here and a number of other things but probably the most useful is this uh, uh, SOS chart which I keep in case I need it all of this weighs in at about 7 kilograms. So if you're thinking of going mobile, now you have an idea of the kind of thing that you'd need. And remember, you do not need much more. See you on the road.